Hey everybody, welcome to Dave's Acrylic Pouring Art. Um, I'm Dave, obviously. Um, hey, look, I saw, was on YouTube the other day and I uh, just for a split second saw this other person's painting and then I got a phone call and I took the phone call. I wanted, I ended the phone call, the video that I was, that I had originally looked at was gone. I, I couldn't find it. So I looked and I looked and I looked, I couldn't find it. I didn't know what it was called. Um, so I'm going to try to recreate that painting today um, just from memory. So it's not my idea, it's somebody else's idea, but I just want to recreate it because I thought it was uh, very unique and very, uh, very colorful. So uh, I'm using Liquitex colors today. Um, today we have got uh, fluorescent pink, uh, cadmium orange hue, uh, let's see, cadmium yellow medium hue, bright aqua green. Um, Prison Violet and Quinecrodome Magenta, <clears throat> um, Brilliant Purple, Brilliant Yellow Green, and Brilliant Blue and Prussian Blue Hue. So those are my 10 colors that I've chosen. Uh, I've gone with a white base this, this time around uh, just because I want to have all these colors really pop and really be uh, like a visual effect. Uh, across the, the negative space there. So I went ahead and I poured my white down on here and I have um, tilted it and got most of the paint off so it's a very thin layer of uh, base paint. So let me bring you down here so you can see what we got going on and we'll get started. All right, so as you can see, we've got our white base, base down and to this, we are going to get some paper towels, because I forgot. <clears throat> and you'll see why we need paper towel in just a second. But, okay, so, the, the one that I saw was they had, like, little drips, and they would put a drip here, and then they would blow that out like a Dutch pour and then they put another drip of a different color and blow that out so it looked like all oh, this floral uh, leaf or uh, floral like lay I guess that came across here it was really pretty and uh, I thought that I would go ahead and give that a good old-fashioned try just out of just from memory so we've got our colors and I'm going to get a little bit on my paint stick here And then we're going to take our straw and then we're going to try to quarter it and push it out almost like a shamrock, if you will. pretty good okay so now once I you guys seen that I had my uh, my paint stick there in the yellow now you know why we need the paper towel to clean it off wipe it off so we can go to our next color let's go with this blue here it's Prussian blue and the same thing we are going to blow this out so basically it almost turns out like a bloom if you will <clears throat> so you just do each of these colors in a random path or whatever and uh, you can go from there and it doesn't matter if they overlap but you have to really pay attention to make sure that you don't drip anywhere else in here because then you'll have to adjust that later on
And the key is, is, is I, I'm thinking anyway, the key is to make sure that you don't have a, a lot of white paint on here. Keeping it thin uh, is what's going to allow all of this color to stay on top of it because with the different uh, densities of paint, you're going to run into some sinking and some not. moving in this one <laughs> back and forth and back and forth goodness it's very similar to your um, your uh, drip pours where you just continually put the drips on there on each individual stack and you stack them up and leave it like that it's similar to that but you're just doing it each individual as a Dutch pour As you can see it's I, I went back over it just a little bit to uh, bring those other colors back out I don't want them to sink and that's what a few of those are doing is they're sinking into the uh, into the white a little bit which is one of the reasons why I tried to keep the white as light as I could
Well, it's a little difficult to keep trying to keep these <coughs> opened up like that. <coughs> you just keep wanting to sink. I'm not gonna let it. I can already tell that this color is going to be a problem too, but <coughs> it's wanting to sink. <coughs> Definitely getting somewhere with this. Come along nicely. this other side a little bit. I still want to maintain that Dutch pour look, so that's why I keep going back over this area. I don't want it to get those uh, very sharp angles and rigid uh, angles as far as we you know it starts to sink and whatnot. That's why I keep going back over this area to try to keep it spread out. So that's what we are doing. I gotta tell you, you do go through quite a bit of uh, paper towel in in this uh, endeavor, even here paint pouring 
At least I do. but I actually look kind of like it. The reason I chose the straw over my mini uh, leaf blower um, is just because I want a little more control over um, the 
angles and, and exactly how it's being blown out and also how much pressure I'm using on this. So I want to be able to get exactly what I'm looking for without having to second guess where it's going to go and whatnot. through with some cells um, and that's from the flow trial that I used in my medium here so all right we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back and we are going to fill in some of this negative space um, and kind of really make this a little fuller I mean you could leave it like this sure but I definitely want to get more color more pop in here each one of these little negative spaces here and see what we can come up with. these colors if you'll notice a little more uh, colors like for Easter and stuff like that and that was obviously the reason that I chose these colors because we got Easter coming up here
so the Prussian blue really makes these cells pop in here. It's crazy. choose what colors I want to get in here. I've randomized them so much that I'm kind of throwing myself off my game here. There we go. We'll just do this one. something up here because I want it to kind of flow like that so let's go with let's hit it with another one of the Prussian blues that's a good spot for that lighter blue up on the top next to that Prussian blue.
concrete over here. <coughs> I've got to say, I, I don't think that <clears throat> I'm really caring for the lime green too much in here. It's not giving me the, any kind of real uh, cells or anything remotely amazing or anything like that. So. to it and that will give me a different look as it's layered like that. do any more because I don't want to muddle it up any so we're gonna leave it like that let me bring you in for a closer look I know you've got a uh, kind of a glare on it from a window so I apologize about that all right again I'm sorry for the noise guys I always try to be as quiet as possible but doesn't always seem to work out. So as you can see, like right here, um, I've got the purple over the uh, lime green and it gives me a much better look, I think. So very colorful. Um, these are all individual little blooms that have been created by using the straw. And, and yeah, I mean, you guys have watched it. <laughs> it's, it's fun. It, it takes a little bit longer than your average uh, pour, but you know overall I think that the colors are amazing. They really pop against that white background um, and uh, it really, you just really got to be diligent and really pay attention to how these uh, colors will interact with your base color, no matter what color it is, whether it's white or whatever. Pay attention to how the, each individual paint interacts with your base level and as they rise or fall you can adjust it by blowing on it a, a little bit more here or a little bit more there as you've seen that I did okay well thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, please hit that like button uh, subscribe if you haven't done that and uh, hit the notification bell thanks for watching guys remember pour on <laughs>